over your email that you have mentioned over your resume yes, and sir, ensure yes. that you have your laptop with you yes sir okay gayatri then i will see you later take care Okay, in B Tech it is eight point four, right? Can you brief me about your projects that you did during your B Tech? Yes, ma'am. Um, there, um, one of my projects is automated the car. I mean, it, uh, it is actually, uh, it's not a complete technical car. We, we, it, it's more sort of, it belongs to an IoT domain. So we. um we used like raspberry pi uh various hardwares to put it together and we used the python and its libraries to build the application it's mostly in the libraries ma'am we used open cv library and uh gpi was zero libraries various libraries like that and we and the car has the functionality such as uh, traffic light detection mm -hmm. uh, parking system and uh, object avoidance man got it okay uh, so a quick question would be and now let's take an example um that you getting on board uh, to keep it very upfront with you i would require you in the night shift uh which is basically something that starts around like 8:30 in the night and it ends at 6:30 in the morning so how comfortable are you how flexible are you in terms of the business requirement i am flexible ma'am i can work at the night shift i don't have any problem working at the night shift okay all right so now quickly moving on to your uh, you know technical side of the interview i'll be asking you few questions related to the skill set what you have just mentioned okay so first thing is um let me just ask you few basic questions about html okay so do you have any idea about uh, uh how to include java script code in html yes ma'am we use the script tag uh, in html and whatever we want to include the code we can just put it inside the script tag and continue good okay uh, what is the class attribute in html class attribute um it's usually in a usually in a web page like various sections we will for defining various sections we we use the class for the better designing purpose so while doing the back end work like for background colors fonts etc we use the class in css to do the modifications got it okay and also if you can present your screen write a code based on the logic what i gave okay ma'am sure do you have any touch over css yeah i just know i just know the basics ma'am like okay i can understand the code i can i can know what it means it's just i picked up few codes from the internet and i just managed my work there really i worked on the figma tool ma'am on my internship especially okay so what is a trigger in sql i don't know ma'am okay i mean i heard of it but i cannot seem to recall it at the moment no worries um uh, let me just move back to uh, json or the javascript okay uh what is the use of void void yeah void is void it's an empty it is an empty space mm -hmm. in usual um that's it ma'am um uh, okay do you I have any idea about here with javascript ma'am i just i can read the code and understand its functionality but i cannot write the code in javascript but i can learn it got it just uh, do a basic coding for me i'll give you a few oh, logics yeah. i want you to decode Mm. 
Is my screen visible now? <laughs> yes, your screen is visible along with it throwing the answers as well. Just open a new tab and I'll tell you the logic. Please code that apple, banana, and uh, orange. Okay. Okay. These are basically the fruits. Okay. And next one we have colors, which is red, blue, orange. Okay. So I want you to code a logic, which firstly presents all fruits to me. Okay. Sure. Is that okay, ma'am? Now present me um, all the colors as well as fruits together. Okay, ma'am. So one thing, I don't want to see um, an arrangement of two oranges there. Okay. okay, all I want to see is a mix mash of both fruit and color. Let's say if a fruit is populating, it should have a color. So it should be like a series there. Like if it is apple, it should display red color. If it is banana, it should display yeah. yellow color. Yeah. Okay. Now can we go to the next question? What happened? I am having a little problem with it, ma'am. Uh, usually, to map the values in the list, we use zip function. Hmm. So it will create a dictionary, but. Um, It is throwing an error. That means I have written something wrong here. Okay, then try to know. use the yeah. online platform and try to decode it. Right? Try to find out an answer. We should not just stop at saying that you know. Can we move to the next question or anything? You can just give it a try. Right? Try to yeah. fetch the information where exactly you're going wrong over Google. Okay. Thank you. Okay, leave it. Okay. Uh no worries. Um I think I'll uh, conclude the interview by asking uh, two more questions to you. How quick you are as a learner? I am a good learner ma'am uh, I can learn anything quickly give me a task and I can prove it to you the coding was one such yes but you were the first one to give it up even before trying or trying to fetch the answer by yourself how how it goes is whenever you are stuck somewhere we as interviewers will basically or probably me i just look at an option where if you are unable to find it by yourself let me know where in maybe i can tell you to give it a try or google find an answer by yourself if you are able to code it then absolutely well and good right okay so always have that kind of a conviction with you that you let the other person know what's the reason behind which you are unable to do it right so have that expectation set to really clear I live in Guntur, ma'am, Andhra mm-hmm. Pradesh. Okay, so our office is located at Hyderabad. How how will you plan to accommodate or uh, you know work here? I can shift to Hyderabad, ma'am. All my relatives live there, so. Right. Okay then. Um, you know, let's wrap this interview here. Uh, your HR will be connecting with you for the uh, feedback and all. Okay. Okay, ma'am. All right. Thank you Gayatri. Thank you for being so patient ma'am. You are really sweet. Thank you. Thank you and all the very best. Thank Take you care. So.